Hello animal lovers, this time we will get to know what a duck is and how the life cycle of a duck is. Usually you only know if the duck isn't a plate that is ready to eat. But did you know that it turns out that in ducks there is a lot of knowledge that you can learn. Before continuing with the video, as you animal lovers, don't forget to subscribe us by pressing the red button on the Animal Planet Asia channel. Already? Okay, here it is. Duck is a common name for a number of species in the Anatidae family of birds. Ducks are divided between several subfamilies. Ducks are mostly aquatic birds, mostly smaller than their relatives the swans and geese, and may be found in both freshwater and seawater. Swimming gracefully across a pond or waddling comically across the land, ducks are a common feature of the landscape of most of America. Ducks are very social animals. Males are called as drakes, and females sometimes live in pairs or together with their ducklings. They communicate both vocally and with body language. At other times ducks spend much of their time, during both day and night, in larger groups. The domestic duck has a normal lifespan of 10 years. Most ducks have a wide flat beak adapted for dredging. They exploit a variety of food sources such as grasses, grains and aquatic plants, fish, and insects. Some of the diving ducks forage deep underwater. The others the dabbling ducks feed from the surface of water or on land. To be able to submerge easier, the diving ducks are heavier for size than dabbling ducks, and therefore have more difficulty taking off to fly. A few specialized species like the Gulzander and the Mergensers, are adapted to catch large fish. In a wildlife pond, the bottom over most of the area should be too deep for dabbling wild ducks to reach the bottom. To protect bottom living life from being constantly disturbed and eaten by ducks dredging. The sound made by some female ducks is called a quack. A common urban legend is that quacks do not produce an echo. The males of northern species often have showy plumage, but this is molded in summer to give a more female-like appearance, the eclipse plumage. Many species of ducks are temporarily flightless while molting. They seek out protected habitat with good food supplies during this period. This molt typically precedes migration. Some duck species Mainly those breeding in the temperate and arctic northern hemisphere, are migratory, but others are not. Some, particularly in Australia where rainfall is patchy and erratic, are nomadic, seeking out the temporary lakes and pools that form after localized heavy rain. In many areas, wild ducks of various species, including ducks farmed and released into the wild, are hunted for food or sport, by shooting or formerly by decoys. Ducks and geese are wild animals, but they have domesticated counterparts who are raised for their eggs and meat, down and feathers. They're less commonly known as farm animals, yet they can certainly fall within this category. Ducks are birds. Ducks are also called waterfowl because they are normally found in places where there is water like ponds, streams and rivers. Ducks are related to geese and swans. Ducks are sometimes confused with several types of unrelated water birds with similar forms, such as loons and aquatic bird found in many parts of North America and Northern Europe, or grebes freshwater diving birds, and coots medium-sized water birds which are members of the rail bird family. Duck Characteristics Ducks are smaller than, than their relatives like swans and geese. Ducks also have shorter necks and wings and a stout body. A female duck is called a hen, they are identified by their very dull, brown feathers. The females have dull brown feathers so that they can hide from enemies and predators. They can also camouflage themselves in their nests and also protect their young. A male duck is called a drake, you can identify the male duck by its brightly colored feathers. They use these colored feathers to attract the female ducks for mating. Here is a beautifully colored drake with a purple plumage, shiny green head coloring, silvery white body and gray wings with blue markings. 
the males use their colorful plumage to attract females. However, they will lose or molt their colorful feathers when the females are busy hatching the eggs. The males will now look like the female in color and will be unable to fly temporarily. They will molt again in early autumn and get back their colorful feathers and be able to fly again. The females also molt. They replace all their feathers and get new ones after their ducklings are hatched. Ducks have webbed feet, which are designed for swimming. Their webbed feet act like paddles for the ducks. The reason ducks can swim in cold water is their amazing circulatory system. Their blood vessels are laid out very close to each other in their legs and feet in a network that allows the warm and cool blood to exchange heat. This allows the warm blood going from the body into the feet to warm the cooler blood re-entering the body from the feet. And the blood going to the feet is cooled enough that the cold does not bother the duck. Thus the duck's feet are able to tolerate the cold and not bother them. All birds have this circulatory system in their legs and feet. A duck has waterproof feathers. There is a special gland called the preen gland near the duck's tail. This tiny gland produces oil which the duck uses to coat its feathers. The duck picks up the oil with its head and beak, and then smears it all over its body to make the outer feathers waterproof. Without this protective barrier, a duck's feathers would become waterlogged and because they spend their whole lives around and in water, this waterproof barrier is extremely important. Beneath the waterproof coat are fluffy and soft feathers which keep the duck warm. The duck's mouth is called a beak or bill. It is usually broad and flat and has rows of fine notches along the edge called lamellae. The lamellae helps the duck to grip its food so that it will not slip off. However, duck's beak comes in different shapes and sizes. The shape of the beak and body determines how the duck will hunt for its food. Duck Behavior Ducks keep clean by preening themselves. Ducks do this by putting their heads in funny positions and putting their beaks into their body. Ducks preen themselves very often. Preening also removes parasites, removes scales which cover newly sprouting feathers and also involves the removal of spreading oil over clean feathers. Duck Habitats Many species of duck are temporarily flightless while molting. Ducks seek out protected habitats with a good food supply during this period. They usually molt before migrating. Ducks are found in wetlands, marshes, ponds, rivers, lakes and oceans. This is because ducks love the water. Some species of ducks migrate or travel long distances every year to breed. Ducks usually travel to warmer areas or where the water does not freeze so that they can rest and raise their young. The distance may be thousands of miles away. Ducks are found everywhere in the world except the Antarctica which is too cold for them. Duck Lifespan Ducks can live from 2, 20 years, depending on species and whether they are wild ducks or ducks in captivity. It's a fact that a wild duck can live 20 years or more. Domestic ducks typically live 10, 15 years in captivity. The world record is a mallard drake that lived to a ripe old age of 27 years. Ducks and their feeding habits Shovelers, these ducks have broad beaks and sift their food for insects, nails and seed from the mud. Diving ducks and sea ducks forage deep underwater. To be able to submerge more easily, the diving ducks are heavier than dabbling ducks and therefore have more difficulty taking off to fly. These ducks have long and narrow beaks. Their narrow beaks are also covered with saw-like edges which help them to grab fish. Dabbling ducks feed on the surface of water or on land, or as deep as they can reach by upending without completely submerging. Their beaks are broad and short. Dabbling ducks have tiny rows of plates along the inside of the beak called lamellae like a whale's baleen. These let them filter water out of the side of their beaks and keep food inside. Dabbling ducks eat plants, seeds, grasses and other small insects and animals that they find on or under the water.
Usually they stick their tails in the air and stretch their heads into the water to reach their food. Dabblers usually have shiny colored patches on their wings. The domestic ducks are dabblers too. They are descendants of the mallards. Dabbling ducks take off from the water in quick jumps. Ducks with longer necks dive with their head down into the shallow water and pick up their food. Duck Reproduction Ducks usually look for a mate or partner in winter. Male ducks will attract the female ducks with their colorful plumage or feathers. The female ducks will then lead the male ducks to their breeding ground in spring. The breeding ground will usually be the place where the female duck was hatched. The female duck builds her nest with grass or reeds or even in a hole in a tree. The male duck will guard their territory by chasing away other couples. Once the female lays 5, 12 eggs, she will sit on her eggs to keep them warm so that they can hatch into ducklings. The male ducks on the other hand, will be with the other male ducks. The eggs will hatch within 28 days normally, except for the Muscovy duck which takes about 35 days to hatch. The mother duck will keep her brood of ducklings together to protect them from predators. Animals like the raccoon, turtles, hawks, large fish and snakes are a duck's main predators and they will eat the ducklings. Ducklings are able to fly within 5, 8 weeks. Their feathers develop very fast. When the young are ready to fly, all the ducks will gather in flocks on large lakes, marshes or the ocean to migrate to their wintering home. When the ducks fly, they usually do so in a V-shaped or a long line. Interesting duck facts. A hen makes a loud quack sound while the drake is a raspy, muffled call. Touching a duckling does not prevent the mother duck from taking care of it. It is however best to leave ducklings alone so as not to scare the mother duck away or accidentally injure them. Ducks sleep with half their brains awake. Ducks are more likely to sleep with one eye open when they are located on the edge of sleeping groups. Ducks can detect predators in less than a second. Duck eggshells have tiny holes that allow it to breathe. A hen's eggs can have 7,500 pores, most found at the blind end of the egg. Respiratory gases as well as water vapor travel through these pores allowing the egg to breathe. Baby ducks are precocial meaning they are born with their eyes wide open, with a warm layer of down and are not fully dependent on their parents for food. Ducklings are ready to leave the nest within hours of hatching. A clutch is the total number of eggs laid by one bird during one nesting session. Clutch size affected by hereditary and environmental factors. When food is abundant, birds lay more eggs. A brood is the total number of hatchlings, or ducklings in a clutch. Ducks have very good vision and they see in color. Amazing facts about ducks. 1. All ducks have highly waterproof feathers. A duck's feathers are so waterproof that even when the duck dives underwater, the downy underlayer of feathers right next to the skin will stay completely dry. Ducks are omnivorous and will eat grass, aquatic plants, insects, seeds, fruit, fish, crustaceans and other types of food. 2. Ducklings younger than 10 days tend to swim and walk as a group always close to their mother, to avoid the attack of predators. 3. Most duck species are monogamous for a breeding season, but they do not often mate for life. Instead, they will seek out new mates each year, choosing the healthiest, strongest, best mate who can help them pass on their genes to a new duckling generation. 4. Ducks are outgoing social animals who feel most at ease when they're in a larger group of other ducks. Ducks are birds. Ducks are also called waterfowl because they are normally found in places where there is water like ponds, streams, and rivers. 5. Ducks can live up to 20 years, depending on the species and if well cared for. The production of eggs is affected by daylight. When there is more daylight, the ducks will lay more eggs. To prevent this from happening, 
farmers use artificial lighting so that the ducks have about 17 hours of light a day to produce eggs efficiently. 6. The eggs will hatch within 28 days normally, except for the Muscovy duck which takes about 35 days to hatch. The mother duck will keep her brood of ducklings together to protect them from predators. 7. Ducks have been domesticated as pets and farm animals for more than 500 years, and all domestic ducks are descended from either the mallard or the muscovy duck. Mallards, especially, are easy to crossbreed with other types of ducks, and mallards often hybridize with all types of ducks at local ponds. Kinds of ducks explained. Whether you're eating duck in a restaurant or preparing it at home, there are several breeds that offer different taste experiences. Knowing about the breeds can help you make the best decision about the duck thoughts right for you. Compare the duck breeds available at below. Pekin duck or Long Island duck. Pekin duck is the most popular duck to eat. Pekin duck meat is known for its mild, satisfying flavor that easily adapts to a number of cuisines. It has lighter flesh and milder flavor than either mullard or muscovy duck, and is considered perfect for whole roasting. Interestingly, nutritional information released by the USDA in 1997 proves that skinless pecan duck breast is lower in fat and calories than skinless chicken breast. Read more about pecan duck. Muscovy duck. A popular eating duck in Europe, the Muscovy duck sometimes called Barbary or Barbary duck is thin-skinned, low in fat, and is deep red, mildly gamey meat which is sometimes compared to roast beef for its flavor, and veal for its tenderness. The carcass of a Muscovy duck is heavier than other domestic ducks, and has a larger breast than its pecan counterpart, with up to 40% less fat than that breed. And while it may appear to cost more per pound than other ducks, Muscovy duck has a higher meat to bone ratio, which means you get more meat and less bone for the money. For an in-depth story, read more about Muscovy duck. Molar duck Get the best of both worlds with a molar duck. This cross between a Muscovy drake and a pecan hen is a sizable bird with a well-developed breast, and is the preferred duck for foie gras because of its large size and hardy constitution. A best-selling duck of here, the mullard offers dark red meat, a hefty breast and a good layer of fat, which can be removed and rendered into duck fat. This is a great eating duck. Two of our most popular products come from mullard ducks, our mullard duck magrette, half breast and our duck leg can fit. We also offer fresh mullard duck legs and smoked mullard duck breast. Rowan Duckling Inspired by the variety of duck breeds available in France, we developed a proprietary hybrid of several breeds including the Heritage Mallard and Pekin. This duck is raised exclusively for here and is called a Rowan Duckling. With a unique taste reminiscent of a heritage breed duck from France, the juicy, tender, rose-colored meat and mild taste makes are adaptable to practically every duck recipe. And because it is air chilled, you get only meat and bone, not water retained during processing. This means that the skin crisps up nicely however it is prepared and the flavor is pure, an adulterated duck. Thanks for watching, see you animal lovers.